Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince with another Total War Attila tournament match. And this is the TWCL Autumn to Autumn, not Autumn. <laughs> Autumn 2015 tournament. Uh, we have uh, here the match between Simon of IDE and Skillless of VOD. That kind of rhymes. And uh, it is group stage, group B. And here in the first game, we have Simon as the Burgundians and uh, Skeles as the Jutes. So let's see how this one's going to play out as I hit play, as I hit slow motion. Now, for uh, the Burgundians, we have, what do we have? Bronze 1, Royal Burgundian General with fast charge. Then we have six Royal Lancers. Of course, it feels like I'm playing this game because I would bring something like this. Uh, then we have, let's see, a bunch of Burgundian Axemen, actually. Uh, I believe it is one, two, three, four, five Burgundian Axemen, so not six, actually. And it's kind of hard to look at his build, so I'm just going to put it a bit into slow motion right now as we fast forward a bit. So, he has some Germanic Archers, looks like three, four of those, indeed. Then we see some scattershot hurlers, two of those. And two Germanic pikes, so very, very interesting uh, army here by the Burgundians, but quite solid and quite standard though. Now, what do we have for the Jutes? Well, let's see. The Nordic Warlord Brace General. Then in terms of cavalry, well, is it six Nordic Horse Lords? Of course, it is six Nordic Horse Lords, five bronze, one. Uh, in the back, we see a bunch of Huskarls. Looks like six Huskarls? No, yes, it's six Huskarls and a seventh axe unit as well, the Nordic Axe Warrior. Uh, up front, we have a bunch of Nordic Hurlers. It looks like four Nordic Hurlers in total and in the center, two of these Nordic bows. Let's hit play and uh, see how this battle goes. But in this matchup, I honestly feel like the Burgundians are uh, at an advantage because not only do the Jutes not have Germanic units, like say uh, the Germanic archers, which can be pretty good, they also do not have the Royal Lancers. I mean, yes, they have Nordic Horse Lords, very, very good cav, but it's not going to do very well against Nordic Horse Lords uh, if the Royal Lancers get a proper charge off. And then there's a Burgundian Axeman follow up. Like, the Royal Lancers are just going to wreck absolutely everything. Uh, essentially, so here we have the scattershot hurlers getting their shots off into these Nordic hurlers. Uh, Royal Lancers not afraid to go into these hurlers, it seems. Quite an aggressive move here by the Burgundians. So, this Royal Lancer should actually pull back because it's not going to get the best charge off. Okay, this is this is definitely an overextension here by the Burgundians, and this charge they did not get a charge here. Looks like the charge here, yeah, they actually got a charge off here onto the Nordic Horse Lords and they dealt significant damage to them on the charge. Wow, look, Nordic Horse Lords already down to half strength due to the charge. Here though, as you can see, not even a single kill on these Royal Lancers uh, against the Nordic Horse Lords. Ro uh, the Royal Lancers are gonna not get their charge off, uh, they should actually try and charge these Horse Lords. Looks like they're gonna turn around and they're gonna get a charge off. Very nicely done here. And here the Nordic Horse Lords going to die because the Burgundian Axemen are engaging them. Royal Lancers need to pull out of this engagement before the, the Huskarls get in, otherwise they're going to take significant casualties. Looks like that is not the case, so now they're going to get destroyed by the Axemen. More Huskarls coming in by the Huskarls. Uh, Nordic Hurlers somehow doing weird things. Very nice fast charge uh, charge by the Royal Burgundian General into these Nordic Axe Warriors. going to absolutely destroy them and get them out of the fight very quickly. Uh, good targeting here on the on the single Huskarl unit that is showing its uh, weak side. Well, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't have shields, but still. These pikes are in blocking formation, but there's no pike unit. I think the pike unit should have been here. Because if it was there, it wouldn't have allowed this Nordic Horse Lord to get into the Royal Burgundian General. But as you can see here, the Royal Lancer is just doing a huge amount of work against the Nordic Horse Lords. But as you can see... Uh, the Nordic Horse Lords are not too bad in prolonged fight against the Royal Lancers, so uh, that's something to keep in mind. I mean, yeah, the initial shock value of uh, the Royal Lancers is huge. That's when they deal their damage, so you need to follow up. But if you just wait, it's yeah, it's gonna 
not go so well for the royal lancers the, the longer you the prolonged combat goes the more prolonged it is that is so the nordic horse lords here are going to get crushed by all these units there's just way too many units against it a very nice charge here with the royal lancers it seems onto the horse lords another charge by the royal lancers here should just crush these huskarls uh, these royal lancers here Looks like they're gonna mop up the horse lords with the Burgundian Axemen support. Uh, now though, wow, look, just look at all these scattershot hurlers doing so much damage to these Huskarls. That's very well done. And now we're gonna have a nice charge by the Royal Lancers, going to destroy that Huskarl completely. Uh, or did it actually charge? That was a bit strange. But as you can see here, all these units are now wavering and they are not in good shape at all. Even the Burgundian General is still in the fight here, but I guess once this Horse Lord is off the field, it's using Headhunt, so it's not going to be off the field soon. But once it is, it's just going to be mean that the Burgundian General can uh, disengage. And his flank has completely died off to the Royal Lancer charges. So yeah, again, I don't think the Jutes are particularly good against uh, the Burgundians. I actually think they have weakness to the Burgundians, but... Talking about the Burgundians, I don't actually know if there is a faction that is favored against it. I'm trying to think of a faction that's good against Burgundians, but I can't think of one. Like it, it is very difficult, because not only do they have Germanic units, but they also have some unique units. Like the Royal Lancers, the Scattershot Hurlers, I believe, and... The Burgundian Axemen, like, they are so good. And this Warlord here has is doing some work, but against two Germanic Pikes, not gonna go very well for him. As he is just poked to death from multiple angles here. As you can see. And now this Horse Lord kind of gets charged by the Royal Lancers, and it's going to be the end of him. Uh, here the Warlord is trying to disengage, but as it tries to do that and go around, it's just getting poked more and more. Let's look at these Pikes poking the General. <laughs> He's losing so many men here. But yeah, at this point it's just uh, not looking great at all. Well, it's basically over for uh, for the Jutes. Yeah, Burgundy is very good against Jutes, I believe. So, I mean, it's not impossible for the Jutes to win. In fact, it's actually quite possible, but I think the Burgundians are slightly favored in this matchup. Yeah, it looks like, uh, ooh, that Warlord guy just got chopped. Axed. This guy's happy. He's celebrating. Look how slowly he's walking. Now he's running slowly. Feels like something is wrong with this guy's legs or something. He's not he's not running around properly. That looks like the gen is dead, and that would be game. So as you can see here, Simon's Burgundians. Well done, and the Scattershot Hurler is killing a ton of Huskals here. Basically what they were meant to do, I guess. Royal Burgundian in general, lots of kills. Royal Lancers in general doing fairly well. But yeah, that is the first game going to Simon. Let's go to game number two. The second game where we have, uh, this time around, Simon playing as Caledonians. And Skillless playing as the Burgundians. Now, obviously... Burgundians here are extremely favored. Like, just the Bur a Burgundian Royal Lancer charge into a Murmur Cavalry, like, I don't want to see that. Murmur Cavalry is just going to cry as it gets obliterated in one charge, but let's see. You know, I'm going to put it in slow mo. Go over the Burgundian build. So we have Royal Burgundian General with Brace. Then we have, let's see, a bunch of Royal Lancers and Barbed. So how many royal? One, two, three. Is it one, two, one, two, three? It's three royal answers, I believe. And then one, two. Okay. One. Is it three barbed? Yes, three barbed. I think three barbed, three royal, and a royal burgundian brace general. That's the calf force. Then we have some skirmishes as well. Looks like one two, three, four Germanic archers. We do have some Burgundian Axemen, two, one, two, three, four, five, six Burgundian Axemen. It looks like 
all of them silver two except for one that's silver one this one is yeah also silver two this one's silver one then we have some scatter shot hurlers as well two of those did not notice them before now for um, for the Caledonians here well let's see their build we have uh, two round shield raiders bronze one over here in terms of the rest of the cavalry well six more cavalry bronze one I believe no one two three four five six more cavalry bronze one yes that is the case uh, then we have a bunch of Celtic crossbows looks like four Celtic crossbows the Celtic noble silver three brace general so he's gonna be much better than vanilla but still not too great uh, we have three horse whispers on the left looks like all bronze two and three more horse whispers bronze two that seems to be the build of both of these players actually hmm but yeah let's see how it actually goes because I don't think it's uh, gonna go too well for the Caledonians but oh well let's just wait and see if Simon can pull off the victory here it's nice there it looks like there might be an engagement here no of course Simon does not want to start this engagement why would he I guess he wants to do a bit of damage with his round shield Raiders but now they're gonna get shot at actually by Germanic archers so they're gonna take a bit of damage uh, looks like most of them are actually kind of dodging the fire arrows though so that's pretty good wasting a, a little bit of ammo these Germanic archers activating precision shot a little bit too early I feel uh, they were not in range of the Mormon cavalry and these Celtic crossbowmen are now going to move up with the Mormon cavalry trying to see if it, they can deal with this Germanic archer I mean, it would be okay if the archer targets the Mormon cavalry and then the crossbows deal with the archer, I guess. It wouldn't be too, too bad, I guess. But here, the royal answers, ooh, they're, they're actually moving up. This is very bad for uh, for the Caledonians. Oh, they don't want to take this engagement, but the royal answers turn back at... They could have just gone for it, honestly. Like, that... Why didn't they not charge? Like, let's look over here what happens in the charge. Yeah, look at the Mormon cavalry. It's going to start dropping real fast. Uh, though we have axes over here and the Mormon cavalry rear charging. This uh, Royal Lancer killed zero. Whereas now pulling out it lost seven. And look at the charge. Now the Mormon cavalry is dropping real fast. But so is the Royal Lancer actually due to the crossbow fire it seems. Uh, here we're going to have a nice charge with the Mormons though. Into the Burgundian Axemen. Silver one Burgundian Axemen. These guys are light so charges are just going to absolutely destroy them. By any cavalry unit basically impact damage is high uh, but here we actually have them only losing up to like 80 something men on the charge here the Royal Lancer is getting an excellent charge off onto the Mormers look at the kills on the charge here about 30 kills on the charge uh, with another follow-up by Barb Lancers uh, these Burgundian Axemen here are going to chop down the Mormers um, Barb Lancers oh these were Barb Lancers okay makes sense why didn't do so well Royal Lancers here going to go into the fray here, but not the best charge, so I guess they're just going to pull out of the engagement. Uh, rear charge onto these Barb Lancers, so the Barb Lancers don't get a charge, but more Barb Lancers coming in for their own charge into the Mormon here. Uh, Mormon did not take too much damage on the charge because it wasn't the best charge. Here we see the Royal Lancers, they're gonna go into the Mormons again. These Mormons dying on the charge, but a second Mormon cavalry unit coming in. So that means it's going to go fairly well here for uh, uh, for the Caledonians. I mean, this Royal Lancer is just going to take significant damage. But the more, these Mormon Cavalry might rout due to the Flaming Arrows. The engagement over here, you can see the Barb actually died to the Mormon Cavalry, interestingly enough. So that's not bad at all for Caledonians. Horse Whispers here in Spear Wall. Uh, but some are actually going to support the infantry engagement while some are staying out in Spear Wall. Though the Royal Lancer, the Barb Lancers made it into the crossbows and now looks like they routed them off the field. They're gonna go for a charge into this other one if they make it, probably not. Route off the field, but the crossbows are also off the field. These horse whispers here just doing so much damage to the Lancers as they pull out. It's not good at all for the Burgundians, but here, Mormon Cavalry, wow, it just got in here. And it's going to do a lot of damage to these archers. It also caught the Burgundian Axemen and 
made sure that these archers stopped firing for a bit, but the Burgundian Axemen did not take too many casualties on the charge, it seems, only about 10. But now we have Horse Whispers coming in, the Royal Lancers did not get a charge off that they needed. These Horse Whispers still hanging in there, the Royal Lancers doing an odd, odd thing here. There's barely any of them and now they're they're charging into the Horse Whispers frontally and so they're just going to die. Uh, this Burgundian Axeman is going to be off the field. This Royal Lancer is going to die, but the Burgundian General is still here and uh, he's going to have to be targeted by the crossbows. Very well done here. And now this Round Shield Raider is going to have to stop the Burgundian General. We're going to see the Horse Whispers coming around as well. These Germanic Archers still on the field for, uh, for the Burgundians, which is very annoying. Uh, for uh, the Caledonians, but now Horse Whisper is getting into this fight, and as you can see here, the Round Shield Raider is holding for very long. They are, they are heavy, I believe. Yes, they are. But this Royal Lancer making it through here could be a huge problem for uh, for the Caledonians. It needs to be stopped. It needs to be stopped. But the Horse Whispers here are around, and if the Royal Lancers make it through. Uh, they could be troublesome, but oh the volleys from these Celtic crossbows are just dropping the Royal Lancers Very very quickly here as you can see Looks like this Royal Lancer is just going to end up falling if there's another volley from these guys Ooh, they're not firing. They're not firing. That is very unfortunate for them So it looks like this unit is probably going to end up dying, but the Royal Lancer is going to die in return So that's a pretty cost-effective trade Horse Whispers here actually going for the Lancers. They're gonna pull out of this engagement. They don't want to fight Burgundian Axemen, and I mean, why would they? More more cavalry still on the field going for these Germanic archers. They're gonna do very well. And the general of the Burgundians is now dead, so that could actually be the end of the Burgundians. Still a bunch of Burgundian Axemen though, and this Royal Lancer that's going to be annoying, but more more cavalry here destroying all these units. These Axemen uh, looks like uh, they're gonna do fairly well against the Celtic Nobles, who's actually. Kind of surrounded over here so this is not good for the celtic noble but i don't think it's actually going to matter yeah the celtic noble surrounded by axes he's taken a lot of damage very quickly here to the axes but yeah that is game so it looks like the simon wins with the caledonians against burgundians very very impressive That is not an easy matchup at all for the Caledonians. In fact, any matchup is not easy. Maybe if you're up against the Western Romans, though, that would maybe be easier. <laughs> but still, uh, looks like Simon's going to take the 2 0 here. So, if you all enjoyed, if you want to see more, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google, share the video, and I'll see you next time.